Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Stitcherista here on YouTube. And today is Wednesday, September 28th. I just got done doing the most fucking tedious thing that I have had to do in a long time for work. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> so, last week, if you guys remember when I was gone, the Thursday job they had, oh, I can't even talk. The Thursday job they had, very arduous, um, lots of technical problems and things. Remember my boss was texting me and, and all of that. Now, let me preface this by saying in a normal deposition, because I know many of you have never had one or don't know what one is, they question a witness about a case, right? We will have a parenthetical where we put parentheses and we will say discussion off the written record. We will do that if the attorneys are talking about their kids, what school they're going to, what they're going to have for lunch today. You know, stuff that has no bearing on the case or anything in it, right? In all of the years I've done this job, and I've worked with my boss now for six years of the 20 I've done this job, we have never had an attorney come back and say, you need to put those in. You need to put those off the record discussions in because there's pertinent information. <clears throat> Yesterday, the attorney for this case they had did just that. And so my boss is going back and forth with the firm. And I know, I know in the back of my mind, because remember, she's on vacation. She's in like Boston or wherever she's at. I know that I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to listen to the audio and fill in these discussions. Now, according to my boss, which, you know, she gets for, for all the, all the criticism she does of me, she gets a lot of stuff incorrect when she's relaying information to me. She's like, there's, eight off the record discussions. I'll pay you such and such to fill it in. And I'm thinking eight, hey, man, that's going to take a while. Well, I decide to page through the transcript. Um, there's not eight, there's 19, 19 off the record discussions that I need to listen and add in and listening and adding in so let's just say one is at nine o'clock, the next one's at 9.50. I have to fast forward in the audio and find the right spot to listen. Oh my God. And so she got a little payback today because just like she was texting me when I was on vacation, I sent her like four different texts saying, this is the most tedious and arduous thing I've done. Um... Yeah, things like that. And the thing was, she was waiting for a response from the firm before we did anything. But I know, I have done this job long enough. I know they want it. I'm not waiting until they come back at 4 and 5 o'clock and say, oh, yes, add it. And then I'm working until 7. Now, I got the time right now. I said, I'm just going to start it right now. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it right now. Two and a half hours it took me. It is now 1.52 and I just fucking ate something 10 minutes ago. Yeah, that was not how I was planning to spend my day. However, if you were thinking along the lines of God put you where you need to be, that's what I was supposed to be doing today. Um, but fuck me, like, oh my God. Okay, so. Let's get off of that because, yeah. So yesterday, good day yesterday. I've had good days up until today um, with my vacation, with my time off. It's been very, it's been lovely. So Bill came home yesterday and I had done a lot of stitching, believe it or not. Um, I continued to work on, I think that's our mail truck. Is it? No. I have continued to work on my Little Robin Designs piece, Autumnal Sampler. Remember, I colored the paper 
I questioned how I was going to do the moon. So I worked on it yesterday more and here's what I have done. So I, I was able to get the pumpkins done more, the stone walkway, and I've started on the house. Anyone who has stitched a house that is solidly stitched knows how time consuming that can be. And believe it or not, because this is a combination of 3865 and 712, because remember, she gave the DMC conversions for all the overdies. I actually don't hate it. Like, I didn't hate stitching with it. I took my time. I did the windows and the doors first because now I can just fill in. I think it's coming along swimmingly. And I think the white shows up really good on this paper. Now, for the moon. So this morning when I got up before I had to do all that bull crap for work, I was contemplating because a lot of you gave some good suggestions on what to do for the moon. I appreciate any suggestions. I think what I'm going to try is I went, looked through my sulky threads and there is this sulky thread that is, I don't know what the 4,001. It looks like a combination. It's like yellow, some gray, some white. I'm going to try this. I may be tearing it out, but I'm going to try and see what it looks like. Because the colors for the moon that she says to use, it is a combination of 3866 and 3865, which is these two colors, a white and a gray. 3866 is like a really light gray. So, you know, what I've been doing is I've been using the blends. I've been doing one strand of each, but I like the variegation in that moon. So I feel like if I use the sulky, I mean, I'm holding, if I use the sulky, I will probably get some subtle variegation and it might look good. So fingers crossed because, but the moon I'm probably going to be after I, you know, do you ever try to plan out where you're going to go in a pattern? So when I'm done the house, because I want to try to get that done today. Don't you love the pumpkins sitting way up on the roof? I just saw that. I didn't even notice that. After I do the house, I am probably going to finish the rest of the words because I have, I still have to do, life starts all over. So I'll try to do the words and then I'll probably do that leaf up there and then try to do the moon because then I'll leave the tree until last and the fence down there. So we'll see because I will have ample stitching time today. Although, you know, I would have had more had I not had to do that stuff for work. Um, but I will stitch tonight when Bill goes to bed. Did I miss a stitch? Oh my God, I did. That's the thing. You have to be really careful. I can see where I missed completing a leg of it. I'm going to have to fix that. Yeah, um, I think I did. Yes, I did. Look right, where is it? Look right there. Can you see how it's only one, right there? It's only like one half. Yeah. Luckily I saw that because I looked at it glancing down and I'm like, it doesn't look like a complete X. Um, but I will stitch after I get this video up. And then I will stitch tonight when Bill goes to bed. And he has stuff to do today, like after work, like here. At, like he goes out in the shed and does stuff like that. So I'll have, I'll have probably time up until dinner to stitch. And then I'll have tomorrow. And I'll also have Friday. Now Friday we are getting our COVID booster at like 3 o'clock. And then we are going to the football game at Charlize's high school to see her play in the marching band. There's only two more home games left and she only plays at the home game. So this Friday, and it's supposed to be nice weather. Like it's supposed to be only like 57 or something like that. So perfect football weather. And then the end of October. So, but yeah. Oh, someone asked me <laughs> and this is, I'm flattered, but it's a no. If I would ever consider selling the paper I color, 
I think I did a really good job on this one. I've done, Bill even said, you know, you've done really well with the paper. Like I'm getting better and better as I do it more. And last night I trimmed under here. I trimmed to this side because I know that's the border for that one. I did three stitches away. So I think that's what I'm going to do for the rest of them, for the rest of the sides. Um, I'm going to try to not, I hope I don't have to cut too much off the top only because it will take away from that, um, linen color I did, you know, like try to make it look like the sky. Anyway, will I ever consider selling the paper? No. And here's why. This is not like a one and done. To do even this small of paper it's arduous. It's time consuming. Some, most of the time it takes me going through at least two sheets of paper before I have one that I like. So it would be, I would have to charge such an exorbitant amount of money for a piece of paper that people probably wouldn't want to pay it. Not to mention, you know, if I develop a color like this one and I write down the combination, it's really hard to get another piece of paper looking exactly like this. Like it is hard. Like I give all the credit to um, fabric dyers because to get a fabric consistent across multiple pieces has to be extremely difficult. So I would be, I just foresee so many headaches with it that now I will color the paper for my own personal use and for the envy of you guys. <laughs> No, but um, this was something that I just, and I invite you to try it yourself. I mean, it's not like that hard, but it's an investment in the spray distress oxide. And I told Bill, so I only need like 25 or 30 more to complete my set. I have like half the colors. I've also used up like six or seven colors, coloring all that paper I did. So... I told him, I said, every couple of months, Ranger Inc. will have like a 20% off or a 30% off sale for your entire order. I have a list of the ones I need. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. And I told him, I said, I'm going to do it. I said, it's probably going to cost me like a hundred bucks because each bottle is $5.99. So to be able to save... 30, 40 bucks off of an order like that, that will be fantastic. So that's what I'm waiting for. Even if it's, I'm waiting till Black Friday, because I guarantee you they're going to have something for Black Friday. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm finally going to have the complete set. And I have to replace one of the storage containers I bought because the hinge is broken and it's annoying as fuck. So I'm going to buy another one of those too when I get the, do the order. Those are $11.99 a piece, so, but yeah, I'm enjoying it very much, but no, I will not be selling the paper. Okay, I know I said I was going to do a true crime today, but I'm not because I'm just, I still have laundry to fold because my day just totally was eaten up by that work task. So I'm going to fold the laundry, sit down and try to stitch some before Bill gets home. I hope you guys are all having a good Wednesday. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.